Good afternoon. It is Sunday, the 18th of September, 2022. Today, the card I drew from my sacred geometry deck was passion. That energy that is fiery, full of excitement, commitment, determination, um, enthusiasm, excitement, zeal, and I love it. So much of what we think about in terms of spirituality can take on the tone of quiet, calm, tranquil, coming back to the still point, getting our focus, breathing, relaxing. But once we have come home to that place within ourselves, then the next thing that we can all hope will happen is that upflow of energy, that enthusiasm, that being filled with God, that being filled with passion that gives us the um, uh, fuel to keep on moving forward, to keep on discovering, to keep on letting go of old patterns and finding new ones and of being drawn into this process where we have no idea what it is that we're gonna discover because we are pushing out of our familiar territory and entering into the unknown. Passion is that energy that comes in to support us in all of the transformations and changes that go on around us. And all of those ripples of um, uh, challenge and drama and circumstance and fatigue and everything else that is going on in our daily lives to help us keep our focus on what's most important to us. For me, much of that is remembering all of who I am, remembering that I always have been a being of light, an energetic being in a physical, tangible expression, inseparable from the sacred that infuses and shines through all of us. And that's huge. That's immense. It's so far out of all of the conditioned thought processes of my lifetime that I need empowerment to go, okay, let's move forward. Let's discover. I think passion, that commitment edge, especially of, of passion, but also the enthusiasm, the, the being filled with energy helps when we come up against that fear that is an inevitable, part, an inevitable part of stepping forward into a new way of being, into a new way of perceiving the world, into a new way of acknowledging that there are so many things that we have absolutely no power to control. And it helps us move forward to that place of recognizing, and I don't need to control them. I can keep on exploring and discovering and finding out what's mine, what, what's the expression of this life that adds value to this world without needing to control anything else. because my own soul, my own energy, my passion is my own. I'm responsible for caring for it. I'm responsible for giving it my focus. I'm responsible for letting it move me in my life. And it actually is not in anybody else's control. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks 
about what I'm passionate about. They can think that I am absolutely in la la land. Doesn't matter. From the truth that I know within my own being, I just keep on moving forward. I just keep on letting my focus be on the mystery, the wonder, the amazing fullness of life and all of the ways in which there are these interconnections from all of the animals, all of the plants, all of the elemental aspects of this planet supporting and interweaving with this journey of humankind as we try so desperately to evolve in ways that help us to see where we rest within this web of life and what it is ours to do to help move it forward. So on this quiet, tranquil, easy day in the Southern Arizona desert, I've been given once again, the reminder of passion and I feel it surging up through, energizing, and preparing me for whatever the next step happens to be. Thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.